Hi family. I hope you're all doing great. I really do. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm just, I don't think I've slept for over two years. <laughs> I'm just worn plum out. I'll be really, really glad to get that rest that the Lord's, you know, the message from yesterday that our rest is coming, our rest is coming, family. Um, I just come on to do an update real quick uh, about clarifying the time frame that we're watching. Um, but I'm going to report on a couple little things too. Jeffrey Greiger, if I'm pronouncing it right, from now the end begins, you know, he's going by everything happening in the world with the five red heifers, the train to take everybody to the temple, the 70 nations, um, the two-state solution that they have announced that they're ready to begin the process. Um, you know, again, my goodness, Lapid announced that. And of course, I forgot to turn that off every time. I do it every single time. <laughs> Okay, so, um, Lapid, of course, he announced that from the heart of Babylon, New York City, at the United Nations General Assembly. I'm telling you, they're doing it so they can build the temple. They're saying it's because they want peace, but we know they've been talking Messiah for a long time. They want that temple. That's what it's about. So, yeah, Jeffrey was saying, you know, he, he believes we're absolutely here. I mean, you see it says pre-tribulation rapture takeoff timeline is happening. You know. So, I thought I'd share that with your family and... This was in my feed just a little bit ago. Back to back. Like, not underneath each other, but... Like, I went to one video. I seen this this uh, movie underneath it. Miracle, Miracle Maker. Okay. And then... The Man from the Fields. On a different one. So... I'm telling you, the Lord is, he's talking. You know, the king of, the king is in the fields, right? He's coming to harvest his church. So, yeah, that was encouraging. Miracle maker, and then the man from the fields. And, uh, you know, I, I want to say, too, while I'm thinking about it, I left out the babies. <laughs> The Lord is speaking through trees, and bunnies, and cats, and dreams, and visions, and numbers, emails, license plates, clouds, okay, the clouds, the sun, the moon, the stars, words of knowledge, um, my goodness, lines in the sand, smoke signals, <laughs> And babies. <laughs> Sorry, Sister Mustard Seed. Please forgive me. Yes. I mean, her grandbaby being born, family, on the anniversary of Revelation 12 sign, the five years, five for grace, right? You know, in Revelation 12 is us, the man-child, Waiting to be delivered into heaven. And then. The time. Uh, the baby was born. To receive. To receive. We're about to be received into heaven. 
and enthusiastically. So the Lord's, you know, excited. I mean, two babies, not just one, two babies. <laughs> so it's really amazing, family. So I wanted to share that really quick and I was in a chat a little bit ago and Ginger S um, the sound went off and Ginger said sound went off exactly at 726 and you know how I'm always saying I believe it's going to knock the power out you know it might do it in different places it might not do it everywhere um, or, it might, you know, it might do more damage in some areas than others to where it, it won't come back on for a long time. It's, it's really hard to tell. But I just really took that as something like it jumped out at me that her comment was sound went off at exactly 7 to 6. It just really seemed prophetic. Like, yeah. It's going to blow out communications, poss you know, and, and electricity. Most likely. Not possibly, but most likely. So I thought I would share that with you, family. And from Cleo Channel, she did a good video today. I haven't finished watching it all yet. I had to walk to the store today and carry groceries home. And that wore me out even more. So I've kind of been, like, in slow motion ever since. Um, <laughs> and, and trying to keep up with everything and take care of my house and whatnot. And, but anyway, I'm going to get back to watching it. But yeah, it, it was a reminder about the Kaduri prophecy of um, Rosh Hashanah that, oh Lord, I'll just tell you what. I'll put the link in the description box. Y'all go listen to it. It's really interesting, and um, it looks promising. So, and back to Roche or Rochelle. I think uh, it's probably Roche, and I just get it wrong. Um, from Romo Ten. Okay, so family, she didn't actually see a solar eclipse. What she seen was a ring of fire around the moon and so and she said it was a new moon so we're going into a new moon now okay and Manchog gave me a um, update and I'm gonna read it to you guys he said I did a little research on how Rochelle defines things she tried teaching on moons and calendars a couple weeks ago yes she did I uh, I watched some of it. I tried to tell her, you know, I've, I've tried several times to tell her uh, about the calendar. But, you know, people either they don't have time, they don't get the message, or they just blow it off, one of the two. But, um, he goes on to say, unfortunately, she's mistaken on almost everything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she is, bless her heart. Uh, she uses the compromised Hebrew calendar and has a dead zero moon as a new moon. Okay. So what she describes in the two visions as a full solar eclipse, no such thing. They can be a total solar eclipse has to be a fully waned moon, zero illumination. I still hope the ring of fire will be Betelgeuse. And her full solar eclipse is the fully waned moon silhouette against a newly formed Betelgeuse nebula. The fully waned moon will be around 4 a.m., 5 a.m. September 26th Jerusalem time the second last day of this September harvest moon cycle okay 
the last day 1% waxing. First day of the next Hebrew month, Elul, at sunset the 27th. So the 27th will be going into the new month. Stellarium tells me a 2% illumination. Okay. So yeah, keep in mind, family, that Roche is German. She lives in Germany. I think the countdown God gave me on the 20th was not 3, 2, 1, but 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I received 3, 2, 1 four times in three hours. Yep, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Early in the morning, early morning hours. Then woke up and saw on my watch. 44444. In other words, five fours. I got five fours and numbers that have me three, two, one. So, would that add up to five, four, three, two, one? Do I consider the zero? Five, four, three, two, one from the morning on September 20 easily gives gives me the 25th, 26th. I'll take either. <laughs> and I was saying, yeah, sorry if I'm reading slow, family. I just want to get it out right. Uh, my eyes are so tired and they're kind of like burning right now, too. Um, so, yeah. And it's, I was telling him, man, child, that, you know, everybody who's using the wrong calendar is looking at the 26th, <laughs> too. And I, I was thinking today about that. I was talking to the Lord, and I was like, Lord, that would be just like you to even use the fake calendar um, and, you know, like, put everybody in uh, unison, you know, we're all looking at the same day, but for all different reasons, right? I mean, that kind of makes it even seem like it's more possible, if, if that's how you say it. <laughs> um, yeah, because, like, everybody's looking at that day as the Feast of Trumpets, right? Um, and I'm telling you, though, it would be the perfect day to turn those fake feasts that the Lord hates from Amos 5 into a morning family. It surely, surely would, would it not? So, I guess what we're looking at is the 25th today and tomorrow. But really, family, we're looking at every day. But as far as what he see, what Manchild's seeing in the stars, uh, Stellarium, with what's going on with the moon and what's going on with the uh, wandering stars that everybody calls planets <laughs> over Jerusalem and Betelgeuse could possibly be Betelgeuse giving us a light show that the people. Uh, have seen in the rapture dreams and if there's a ring of light okay that is like a wedding ring for the bride to go up through when we go in the rapture the lord could bring us up through this great big ring of fire and it would be you know like a wedding ring to the bride how amazing I wonder if that does happen, right? If people will be able to see it in the physical, like, you know, get it on camera or anything like that. That would be pretty amazing. I don't see why not. I mean, it's going to... It definitely would be visible to everybody, right? Oh, my goodness. We really don't have any idea what the rapture is going to be like. We think we do, but 
uh, I bet it's going to be so much more than what we could ever imagine, right? In our little finite human brains, at least mine, you know, I'm like the lowest on the totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's why I say, I, that's why I tell man child sometimes, I know I get on your nerves, because uh, I'm like, you know, an airhead, but it's really not even that, it's just my memory function and my brain function just isn't what it used to be. I didn't used to be so ditzy, it's, um, I, well, you know, they're coming at us from every angle. With the stuff in the sky and the stuff in our food and water and just everything under the sun. So, I'm not the only one that's experiencing it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, family, yeah. And by the way, man, child, today I was on Amazon and I was uh, planning on making a purchase. I looked up at the clock, it was 4.44, so I thought I'd uh, snap it for you, because it reminded me, of course, of your fours, and a lot, well, a lot of us have been seeing all these, all the same numbers anyway, many of us get a lot of the same numbers, so it, it, I just was like, what, you know? Oh, I, I was doing something completely different, and then I seen the 444, so it was completely random. And, family, okay, last night I got something, and today I've been praying on it. I was like, Lord, I need, I mean, I believe I got confirmation on what I got last night, but I always want to be so much more careful. And I was talking to the Lord on you know, ask him for more confirmation. Well, I get this uh, message, right? And here's the thing. It came in two parts. And when I looked it up, it looked like it was a confirmation to the other thing. And a message too, like a combination. Um, and it fits right in with the last message I got. So, I'm going to share it with you. And here's the funny thing. It came with stars. Star, two star emojis. And my page just jumped while I'm talking about this. Lord? Is that you? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't think it's a coincidence. Here I say the stars and the page jumps. Oh my goodness. And we're talking about stars, right? Okay, so... A don't miss flash. A don't miss flash. See upcoming free people. Send deposit. Attention, but act now. In other words, like share, okay? So the message is to restore and to lift off family. And you know, Will from Worship and Watch just got the message downloaded in his dream. He had a rapture dream that said, prepare for liftoff. And you know, I received bid, where, bid farewell to the world. Carrie Christ follower got say goodbye to the world. I got prep for wedded bliss. You know, there's been a lot of them, right? And, um, so when I seen that to lift off, I was like, yeah, this is definitely got to be a God thing because of, you know, Will just getting prepared for lift off. And, it, okay, so, to restore, to lift off, to an invisible higher place, sincere with grace and love, okay, there's more. A departure from this life four times and it's also got animals in it when you look it up 359 new a departure from this life animals and then honest a departure from this life 
new go a departure from this life brand new a departure from this life four times four times and yeah when you look it up it's got some little um, thing about animals in it too I was like, oh, wow. And you all know I talk about the animals. And I just um, will be so grateful when their suffering ends. You know, I, uh, I see a lot going on with the animals, family. And I'm not going to tell you anything to make you all start crying or anything like that. But... I will say this, that the animals, they deserve justice too. And they deserve for the curse to be lifted off of them. And many of us, a remnant, have been praying for them. And there is scripture to say that the animals will go with us in Romans. It says the creature. Um, I wish I could remember it right off the bat Romans 10 maybe no I don't know <laughs> uh, but if you just type in Romans and then creature you'll find it um, and the beasts of the earth are going to be demon possessed humans we've been over this stuff here and in the original Hebrew uh, Bible the daily sacrifices didn't say the daily sacrifices it just said the daily and then the English translation added sacrifices so it could actually be anything any kind of daily activities it doesn't have to be sacrifices plus anything you love can be considered a sacrifice the animals you know, more went on the ark than humans. So, it seems to me, as in the days of Noah, there's not really any wiggle room with that, right? So, if all the animals go with us, more will go than humans. <laughs> so, yeah, family. Um... I believe it's more of our animal confirmation. Thank you, Jesus. And so, really quick, too. Um, is America preparing the way for a one world ruler? Well, yeah, Babylon's at the forefront of all of it. Russian state TV tells viewers that nuclear war is likely. And then everyone dies. So... This war is definitely ready to go. And Nelly, thank you Nelly for sharing this, said that the Serbian Prime Minister on the United Nations meeting said that WW3 conflict is already begun and approaching a major conflict and may maybe a month or two we will enter the Great War conflict. Not seen since WW2. So, that you know what? I was telling her, I said, that sounds right. Because that point points to everything Sarah Hoffman's seen. Um, you know, for when China and Russia attack America and Israel gets attacked too. At the same time, it's Bible. It's... Um, gonna it's gonna happen right and we know that the lord stored up snow for his judgment we know it's gonna ha you know we're a summer harvest we might be at the very end of the summer harvest but we're still a summer harvest and then winter judgments we've been talking a lot about it so if they're ready to go here in a couple of months that sounds right does it not family and there was actually a 3, a 2, and a 1 in her comment with the WW3, the WW2, and it was one hour when I seen it. 
So three, two, one. I found that interesting. <laughs> um, and so here was the was the message last night. It's more like a confirmation. Okay, so family, this came in at ten oh one, and it really jumped out at me because it says prophecy alert, September to remember. At exactly nine twenty seven, family. But that's not all. 934, when I seen it, the definition is kingly, royal. And the 1001, uh, well, the 934 was when it was in the, when it popped up, okay? And the 1001 is when I seen it, sorry. Means palace. So, kingly, royal, and palace, okay? But there was two of them that came in at 927. This one too. Talking about WW3. Okay. No kidding. And then. It came in again at 1146. Okay. This time it came in with the word confirmation. At 934 family. Which means kingly and royal. And now you see here at the top it says 11.30 p.m. Okay. And then it says 11.46 at the very top. And the 11.46 family, get this, means a ring. Like a ring for a finger. A finger ring. Like perhaps a wedding ring, right? A wedding ring. <laughs> okay. So, and you see at the bottom, 927, 927, one with Prophecy Alert and WW3. And then the one where it says up, there was actually a little clock emoji in that one too, but I couldn't open it up and fit it all in the picture. So it had a clock emoji. Okay. So, the clock ticking and 927, we've been talking about Daniel 927, and... Prophecy alert, September to remember. And y'all know Sarah was given September to remember. Daniel 9.27 is what she's been talking about. And family, it came in at exactly 9.27. Prophecy alert, September to remember. Kingly and royal. A palace. Okay. And then I get the word confirmation with the same... Number, kingly and royal. And then a ring. And here we're talking about a ring in the sky and all that, right? I, I mean, a fire ring. A clock emoji. And 927, 927. So, and this is what I was praying on asking the Lord. And then I got the message I just read to you guys. I mean, and four times... Is talking about relieving and the animals. Um, so, my goodness, family. And yeah, that's it. So, we're on high alert. We're on high watch. Um, I hope this encourages you guys. I really do. This really seems like confirmation from, from 927 more... You know, I've gotten it before. I had the vision of 927. And this is just like extra emphasized. Uh, kingly and royal, a ring. And kingly, royal, a palace. 927, September to remember. My goodness. And September 24, you know, the church is the 24 elders. So, that number 24. Oh, and this headline, too, says North Korea, North Korea fires missile into sea as U.S. aircraft carrier arrives in region. Yeah, this war is coming, family. That is what they're up to. That's what they're up to. When they, pay, so, excuse me, when they say peace and safety. Dividing God's land. You best believe we're here. There's just no other way around it. 
Um, so, and you know, the last call, the final call went out. The final call went out. Thank you, Allison, for coming and telling me. Um, and that's how it works. We confirm each other, family. The final call was emphasized twice with me and Allison together. So the Lord means it. It's not no, well, yeah, this is the final call, but how long is it going to last? No, this is deadly serious, the final call already went out and that was like a last emergency final call that I did with the video altar call so yeah family I hope this encourages you we're looking you know the next 48 hours maybe longer 70 hours we're looking every day so, who knows, we might wake up in heaven tonight. It's, it's very possible. Well, I love you guys. I can't wait to meet every one of you. I even talked to the Lord, and I said, Lord, can you, like, put us all in the same group so we can see each other as soon as we get there? <laughs> you know, just shoot us all up into the same pile somewhere. <laughs> It'd be really cool if we could see each other on the way, you know, like waving and whatnot. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. So, I guess I'm going to go. I still have to pick something to eat and probably finally fall asleep. If I could stay asleep is the problem. I wake up all through the night and I just stay exhausted because of it. You know, the enemy's trying to keep us tired, wearing out the saints. So we can't do the work for the Lord, you know, that he, he needs us to do. But the Lord has got a different plan. He makes a way for us to have strength, doesn't he? Thank you, Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, believe the gospel in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Time is up. Jesus is coming. You can look it up on a Bible app. Download a Bible app for free. But really, just get on your knees and call on Jesus and say, I believe, I accept you as my Savior, that you was buried, that you died, was buried, and rose again on the third day to pay for my sins. It's that simple. All right, family, I love you. Good night.